Yo guys, so today we'll see how to solve this super simple question called Sock Merchant. Now I picked this question specifically because I want to show you guys how to use two of the lesser known data structures in Python that are counter and default date. So now onto the question. Uh, John works at a clothing store. He has a large pile of socks that he must pair by color for sale. Yeah, pair by color for sale. Given an array of integers representing the color of each sock. Determine how many pairs of socks with matching colors there are. For example, there are n is equal to 7 socks with colors uh, colors represented by this array. There is one pair of color 1 and one of color 2. There are 3 odd socks left, one of each color. The number of pairs is 2. So I think the question is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we, have, we have been given the number of socks and this array represents the color of each sock so as you can see uh, we have three socks of color one uh, as weird as it is to say and three socks of color two and one sock of color three but when you have to make pairs out of it uh, when you have three socks of one you can only make one pair out of it and then you have three socks of two you can also make one pair out of that so that's why only two pairs can come out of uh, this combination so uh, what it's pretty simple what we have to do uh, just count the number of all colors available and then uh, divide it by two and throw away the part after the de decimal because if you have three socks and you divide it by two uh, you, you'll get 1.5 so we just need to disregard the point uh, the number after the point because uh, it will be just one pair we can't have 1.5 pairs so for that there's something really cool in python which is known as floor division it's just a uh, the division symbol two times and it disregards the part of the de decimal for you it's that simple so now uh, before getting on to the code I want to show you a basic example for default it so first uh, first step is you gotta import it from collections module it isn't uh, available directly without importing Yeah. so that's the thing and then it's uh, pretty similar to you know a dictionary but the only difference is it takes in a function for example uh, you can say lambda and then you can say lambda basically st uh, stands there for making anonymous functions so if you try printing uh, the value for a key that isn't there for example count red and there's nothing in our default dict right now uh, if we had a normal dictionary this would give us an error but as you see we get 10 over here so what this basically does is if it sees a key uh, that it hasn't ever encountered encountered before it gives it a value uh, <clears throat> specified in the factory function this part over here the function it takes is known as the factory function now uh, the special part uh, over here is you can pass it int as a function and what it will do is uh, basically initialize this to uh, zero so that's pretty simple uh, we can use this to basically count all the colors we have I have the code right down here yeah so uh, here as you can see I've just uh, declared a default dict with the factory function of int which will just initialize all the values that uh, all the keys that it hasn't encountered before to zero and assigned it to a count variable now we have this add where we have uh, just uh, numbers as items so when we iterate over it so for example when it encounters one so before because before it hasn't seen one at all count item evaluates to zero and then it will add one to it so this way we can count how many times a number appears and then uh, just like how we would uh, loop over a dictionary like k comma v uh, standing for key comma value in count dot items we can go through this because uh, default dict is a subclass of dictionary so a lot of those methods are uh, valid over here and as you can see we have got a count of all our items one is present three times four is present three times uh, two is present one time <coughs> 5 is present one time, 3 is present one time. So that's pretty accurate to my opinion. Uh, and we can pretty easily use this exact code 
in a uh, or question first we got to import it oh sorry that's a typo we got to import it from collections and then we can use it over here we don't need to define this r because that we are getting uh, from the function itself so this code what this does is it just uh, you know initialize the default dict as we saw before and counts how many time an item appears so now what we need to do is we'll define a variable called pairs and initialize it to 0 and we'll loop over these so uh, for k comma v in count dot items we just need to check uh, we'll just uh, you know pairs plus equal to uh, v by 2 and then we'll uh, return pairs so what this does right here is it's just looping over the whole count uh, default date where we have the count for each color and it's just adding up how many pairs can be made from each count because for example uh, if the color 1 is present there over 5 times we have 5 socks of color 1 we can make 2 uh, pairs out of it and this is what it does we, uh, we uh, divide divide by 2 this is called as flow division Yeah. so this would add 2 to it and when we return it now let's just check if a code works right it just takes some time yeah as you would expect uh, it's the right output so now what I want to do is I want to see how to solve the same question with the counter data structure it just takes us a step further and a little more abstraction we don't even have to count uh, this ourselves so so counter is also a data structure and it subclasses from dict yeah so for example we have this array 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 comma 4 comma 1 and we want to count how many times each number appears what we can do is simply pass that pass that as a parameter to the counter initializer so we imported counter from collections and we uh, when we are initializing it we just pass it an array now we can try printing count and let's see what we get counter uh, 1 1 is present 2 times 2 is present 2 times 3 is present 1 time so it's pretty accurate and I'll show you uh, the same way we did with default dict we can uh, loop over this like that because again it's just a, a subclass of dictionary so it's uh, it can validly do a lot of things that are dictionary we can do with the dictionary so print f present times. so for the people who don't know f just uh, stands uh, makes it a you know formatted string and then you can use these curly braces to uh, put in values into the string rather than just uh, adding them with plus signs so as you see one is present two times two is present two times three is present one time and four is present one time so I think we can <laughs> we just need this line and instead of default dict we're gonna import counter from the collections module and then counter arrow so what this does we just saw is it will take in the arrow and it will count how many times each element appears right so we don't need this part too now because we have already counted with it and we can just loop over this so simply and it just makes me so happy how simple this is in python for k, uh, k comma v in count dot items pairs plus v by by 2 which is just flow division as we saw so let's just try running this code
let's just try submitting the code to actually see how long it takes to run so there you have it everything's done and uh, the code works that's pretty much it for this one we saw a lot of stuff one how default dict works two uh, how counter works and for some people flow division also might be new thing because it's not there in a lot of languages so it's a pretty python specific feature i guess uh, in other places you gotta wrap the division around with int or something yeah so that's pretty much it for this one and i've got a few more hacker rank videos planned ahead and also a few front end tutorials uh, are coming up so if you don't want to miss that hit subscribe and if you learn something from this video definitely uh, leave a like thank you